What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we got to talk about Silent Hill 2's remake. We got some gameplay at the state of play, and the reception has absolutely been mixed. I got some things to say, I want to talk about just even the optics of the situation, right? What I actually want to start with, I'm going to almost go in reverse. I want to actually talk about the end of the trailer, which was Silent Hill 2 in development for the PS5, wishlist now, shows the engine, Bloober team, etc. So no date, which, okay, fine. You know what? I said I kind of wanted one, but guess what? Expectations can sometimes be, you know, too far, okay? I understand that. No date. No year. No year. Now, year is kind of an important one. Death Stranding 2 had a year, 2025. Now, I think Death Stranding 2 is probably late 2025, but Death Stranding 2 had a year. This game, which the talk behind the scenes and the talk from like the higher ups at Bloober team, they always make this game seem like it's coming out you know, sooner rather than later. So to just say that it's in development without even giving it a year honestly tells me that this game like I don't I don't think this game is coming out in 2024 maybe maybe and I mean look can you go from something like this to hey four or five months from now they give us a date yeah you can and maybe they do maybe at the PlayStation showcase if they have a showcase right which I, I think they will maybe they show this again they give the date but to say that it's in development well you know that's not ideal to me because that just I don't know. That makes it sound like it's 2025 or potentially even later, which I would be honestly completely shocked if that happened. All right, let's talk about the thing itself. So I honestly think I would echo what I saw a lot of other people say. It was rough. It was it was absolutely rough. Here's some things I think they got right, okay? The environment and the visuals in that department. I would even say... now controversially I actually think the enemies looked pretty fine I saw some comments of like it, it seems like because of how the visuals are arranged the enemies do look a bit jarring and I agree with that I actually think the combat scenes we see in this gameplay trailer they look weird beyond just the combat itself which we'll talk about in a second but like it does look a little odd and I don't know if it's because the enemies maybe look so different than almost the environment they're around. I really don't know a great way of explaining it. I, maybe people online have explained it better than me, but I get it. Like whatever they're trying to get at, you know, with that conversation, I do understand it. But I would say that was the strength. I think the environment and I would maybe like to say tone, but because the music kept kind of jumping, they never really had, I would say, a set theme for the trailer like it wasn't too dark because then the music kind of got like popping you know towards the end I actually really liked like the guitar riff slash solo they did at the end that was pretty cool but that did break up uh I guess the vibe of the trailer you know what I mean it made it so it wasn't one succinct thing it it kind of broke it up so I don't know if I could say tone was a strength of it but definitely visuals from an environment perspective was pretty darn solid the rest, I mean, very much, I would say, worrying, you know, and here's the thing. What was maybe the most worrying about what we saw was the animation. When you're walking around and you're shooting and you're moving, I mean, like, Bloober Team, they don't make games like this. Like, we know this, and we also know from their own mouths, right, they want to change. They don't want to make layers of fear-type games. And I mean, they did tell us this. In all fairness, they did say this. They did say they're done with the walking sims. They want to do a little bit more, like, action-y, right? Like, more gameplay-heavy, but still maybe horror, right? And, I mean, that is technically what we got, but it was just very rigid movements like when you're swinging the bat right or when you're when you're even shooting just a lot of rigidness and it looked like it I'll say this the ending right in development it looked in development whereas like a stellar blade that looked like a game that's coming out in two months right and now that's not the most negative thing in the world like that it can be redeemed it doesn't have to mean the worst things on planet earth now does it add to the worry yeah and I I think that's reasonable. I think that's worth talking about, right? Because Bloober Team is an up and down team. I actually really like Layers of Fear. The first Layers of Fear game, I actually think is really awesome. Second one, I actually also think is pretty good. I don't think it's like, you know, elite or anything. Uh, the medium, obviously not. I'm, I'm very much not into that one, but they are an up and down studio. This is very big for them. Very, very big and something that 
I don't know if you would have said, you know, that you would give the keys to them. And that's not a huge negative. That's the talk that's been around this game and the studio for a lot of years, you know, years at this point. So seeing it in action now and seeing it just, it doesn't, it doesn't look nearly, you know, complete. And if this is actually what it's going to look like when it comes out, that's an even bigger problem, right? So, hey, maybe the game does come out in 2025. Maybe they work out these kinks. That's fine. That's great. But if it comes out also in 2025, I guess, right, and it's still like this, uh, you know, and I could see it happening. I could absolutely see the game being like this when it comes out because they've never done this before, right? And that's going to be rough. This is a beloved game, and I think – you know, they've already talked a little bit about changing up some of the story beats and like it's a remake, but you're going to change some things. Now, hopefully they're small. And, you know, I haven't freaked out at that yet because it does happen. Re Dead Space, Dead Space made Isaac talk, which is massive. That is a massive change. And I think the Dead Space remake is one of the best remakes that have happened. So it's not a death sentence. I really don't believe so. But again, it just adds to it. Right. So you have, you know, them saying that, you know, some things are going to be changed. You have them going in a different direction with the style they normally make. You have a game that definitely doesn't look done, and that's okay. That's okay, but this was your chance. Like, that's maybe the biggest thing, right? Done or not done, doesn't matter. This was your chance to show the game off in a big way for a lot of people. We have been asking for this game and talking about, you know, I've made maybe like 15 videos on it, right? We keep talking about it, and this is what you led with. This is how you showed off the gameplay. And I, I just, I don't think it was good enough. I don't know if I would say it was awful, but it was way too early in development looking for maybe like where it should be and what we thought it was going to be versus what we saw. Um, is there hope? Yes, I really believe so. Because I think the game itself is extremely good. And if you just follow the blueprint and then the gameplay, you know, if the gameplay is bad when the game comes out, does it ruin the game? Well, it might hurt the game. I don't know if it would ruin it, right, because you have everything else. So we'll see. It's more waiting. Honestly, at this point, this is what we're left with. We get this trailer, and then I don't know when the next time we see it is, right? But uh, um, And that's another, I guess, thing, right? You, lead, you start us with this. You lead with this trailer for gameplay, and then you also leave us with this, you know, for a while. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.